hi guys welcome to flavian hub today we'll be setting up or configuring a uh, user manager radius which is uh, found in microtech uh, routers uh, the radius is good for authentication authentication authorization and accounting for a uh, small and uh, medium uh, uh, businesses so let's uh, start configuring so but first before you do anything just make sure go to system and go to packaging and make sure that you have a user manager under your packaging here because uh, my radius it's, uh, uh, it's it uses user managers to uh, authenticate a user so make sure you have a user manager on your uh, router so and uh, also make sure that your router supports a uh, user manager because not all routers uh, which supports a uh, user manager and also if if you don't have this uh, package on your router just go to first go to system go to resources and first uh, know your architecture of your of your router like mine is mpsb he then go to microtech uh, website here then go to software then after going to software here you will find your ex extra packages of your router uh, architecture so here you will find them and you will download uh, which corresponds with your uh, router uh, the extra packages you can see like uh, if i was to sub uh, to download mine the mine mine is here like mip sb this is mine so if i didn't have uh, uh, extra packaging or packages uh, sorry i'll come and download mine here so first make sure that your router supports a uh, user manager because not all of them supports and uh, make sure you have a user manager on your router so let's continue go to wireless then i'm going to wireless go to security profiles and then select the wi-fi which you'll find here you'll find if you have a password for your wi-fi you find uh, uh, some details here so you can double click it and then if it is not none as you can see if you have a password you may find the dynamic uh, keys here but if you do if you find dynamic keys here select none because we will be using the radio server to authenticate the users so we don't need a password for the wi-fi so and then select ok then go to wi-fi interfaces then select your wlan1 this one double click and then change your sicd i can call it mine i will call it uh, my channel uh, like um, flavian let's just call it like that one and uh, then just say okay and uh, then after that go to bridge then we need to add a new bridge so go to bridge here say uh, add a new bridge this one i will call it a bridge uh, i'll call bridge dot flavian like that then after that i'll say apply then okay then after that i will go to ports here these ports then i will put the one uh, and one to uh, flavia to the bridge which you have created so double click it then select it select this this one as you can see so put it under the bridge we have created as you can see like that then say apply then okay then after that go to ip and ip this one go to addresses then we need to add a new address uh after before we add a new address make sure we select the bridge which we have created this one so select that one and here on address we'll use one 192 one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot six dot one slash twenty four then we say apply then we say okay then after that we go to ip 
copy again then we go to hotspot then on hotspot we go to servers then on servers let's go to hotspot setup here then we select our bridge which uh, at port which you have created this one then we go next 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 don't change anything these are uh, they have been created uh, automatically and uh, then go to next then we have to change our ds name D uh, dns name the ds uh, dns name is the name which uh, any user can uh, type on address bar to access your radius so let's call it like f dot hub f dot uh, hub let's call it like that uh, short form for flavian hub like that then let's go to next uh, on let's put like that but this is for test purpose so you can you must use a more secure uh, password so let's go next and we have created uh, a hotspot here so let's say okay then go to server server profiles this one is the one which we are we, it has been created so double click it then here go to radius then check radius here then on logging here you can see we have we have some uh, some details here so you can uh, use uh, cookies you can select cookies if you want uh, if someone a user has been long as uh, disconnected from the server he can uh, uh, log in using uh, a cookie it can be authenticated using cookie as you can see cookie and then you can set a trial trial version if you want uh, your users to have a trial you can select it here and then you can select the limit uh, time limit which you want them to access the the trial so i don't want this one but the cookie is okay so say uh, apply then okay then you, you can go ahead here as you can use servers then select here then make sure the address per mark address uh, the addresses per mark is supposed to be uh, one so let us use only one uh, mark address per per device so say okay so you can see now we have uh, created that one then after that go to uh, to radius we're going to radius hard radius then go to address uh, we will insert what is called a rubric address which is 127.0.0.1 because uh, because the radius server is in the same server with the hotspot server then the secret uh, you will will let's say like uh, let's put a simple one simple secret remember this one uh, you will be you will need this uh, secret code when you are configuring the radio server so remember it then come here on hotspot and check this box and then say apply and uh, okay then after that go to incoming this incoming just uh, select the box for accept this one apply and then okay you need to go ahead and uh, reboot your uh, your uh, your router so go ahead and uh, reboot your your router so after rebooting your router you can access uh, your user manager on any browser so let's get uh, uh, on address bar go to 192.168.6.1 slash uh, userman so you can see like that one make sure you write a userman at the end then go enter this will be the uh, first page you'll see so the default password and user and password is admin and we don't have password for user manager so uh, we don't have any default uh, uh, password for user manager so login 
Now after logging, go to routers, then click hard, then new. Then here you can uh, select any any name you want. You can uh, insert any name you want to be to be using on your uh, server. So I will use like uh, my channel name like that. IP address. Remember the loopback address we inserted. So the, uh, let's uh, use we'll insert it there like that. And then your secret remember the secret code we inserted before so mine was uh, one two three four five but make sure you you insert you create a very good uh, or secure password it is just for demonstration so let's uh, click hard we are connected then go to customers then select your admin Remember, we logged in user manager without password, so you can uh, create a new password so that your account will be secure. Then you say save. Then after that, go to profiles, then add a new profile. Uh, you can write any name you can uh, create for user to be accessing for one month or one week one day however you want so what like or you can create in packages like uh, we say bronze we say gold we said you know uh, some like that one so for me i can say month so that my users will be only accessing for monthly basis after that uh, they will be disconnected and they need to uh, to be authenticated again so let's say create then you come here and say add new limitations so you can hear things uh, on down here you say new limit limit after that you come here and say rate for the rates here you come here and select your rate these are the upload and the download speeds so you can select the speed which you want the users who, who are accessing this profile the speed which you want them to be accessing with so for upload you can say like 256k that is kb then on uh, download speed you can give them like 1 mb so you will just like the like that uh, right like that then you say hard as you can see now we have added one profile now after that then you just save the profile now go to the users here then add a new user say user let's call him uh, so because we are testing let's call him uh, like or let's just say one month a month that that is like that then we give him a password one two say let's put one two three four then let us assign it here which because we only have one and then we say hard so you can see we it is uh, successful so guys let us connect a device and see how it uh, looks like so as yes, you can see this is the the ISSID for our, for which we have to connect the one which is a Flavian so let us connect it as you can see after connecting it will direct uh, uh, log uh, take you to the hotspot uh, service as you can see it has connected uh, it has taken you to this page so remember we have created our users um, our user so the first one was a uh, month so let's type that one month here uh, month then the passwords were one two three four then connect so guys as you can see it has connected and if you want to go to any to see if it is connected we can access any website or, or anything here so let us type something here so that we can see if it is connected as you can see 
it has connected and we have access to the internet so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and on, if you have any question don't forget to comment below and i will see you on my next video